Welcome to our quick start tutorial on how to turn your Pro Tools session file into a CD. Remember that Pro Tools doesn't actually burn your CD, but you can turn your Pro Tools session file into a standard audio file ready for CD burning. Pro Tools does this with a command called Bounce to Disk. First of all, be sure you've muted any tracks that you don't want to hear in the mix. Be sure that the tracks you do want to hear are not muted. I do want to hear this one, so I will leave it unmuted, or ensure that I solo it. After you finish recording and mixing, you're going to need to select the range. Move your start and end markers along the time-based ruler. You may want to select some additional amount of time to make sure you don't cut off your reverb tails. Once you've done that, choose File, and Bounce to Disk. The Bounce dialog window opens. First, let's choose the output paths that we've been using during this session. I've been using 1 and 2, and they appear here by default. File type, I'll export to a WAV file, which is the standard file type used on CDs. Resolution, let's choose 16-bit. Sample rate, let's leave it at 44100. This is standard also for CDs. Let's opt for Convert After Bounce to save on processing power, and press Bounce. The Save Bounce dialog window opens, and here I type a file name and select a destination for it. Choose something logical. I'm going to call it Export CD. Type my file name, and when you're finished, click Open. Just, just, just so Pro Tools bounces in real time in case you have a hardware effect that you're inserting at this time. And as you can see, I can type control period or escape to cancel this. For best results, let your computer just process this without doing anything else. Pro Tools is finishing up here. Once the bounce is complete, you will have a WAV file that is ready to be burned onto a CD. At this point, you can quit Pro Tools and launch your CD burning application. If you're burning for personal use, you can use a free CD burner like Roxio. Be sure you've opted to burn an audio CD, not a data CD. If you're burning a CD for professional duplication, you should use a professional CD burning program that'll properly configure your files in standard Redbook format. And this concludes our quick start tutorial 